welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss a question which says that two pipes running together can fill a tank in 11 and 1 by 9 minutes. If one pipe takes 5 minutes more than the other to fill the tank separately, find the time in which each pipe would fill the tank separately. And now we will start with the solution. Now let the first pipe can fill the tank in x minutes. Now it is given in the question that one pipe takes 5 minutes more than the other to fill the tank separately. Therefore, the second pipe can fill the tank in x plus 5 minutes. Now as the first pipe can fill the tank in x minutes, so now portion of tank filled by the first pipe in 1 minute is equal to 1 by x. Now it is given that the two pipes running together can fill a tank in 11 and 1 by 9 minutes. So now portion of the tank filled by the first pipe in 11 and 1 by 9 minutes that is 100 by 9 minutes is equal to 100 by 9 into 1 by x which is equal to 100 by 9x. So this is portion of the tank filled by the first pipe in 11 and 1 by 9 minutes which is equal to 100 by 9 into portion of the tank filled by the first pipe in 1 minute. Similarly, portion of the tank filled by the second pipe in 11 and 1 by 9 minutes that is 100 by 9 minutes is equal to 100 by 9 into portion of the tank filled by the second pipe in 1 minute that is 1 by x plus 5 that is equal to 100 over 9 into x plus 5 the whole. Now it is given that the two pipes running together can fill the tank in 11 and 1 by 9 minutes. So this is the portion of the tank filled by the first pipe in 11 and 1 by 9 minutes. And this is the portion of the tank filled by the second pipe in 11 and 1 by 9 minutes. Now it is given the two pipes together fill the tank in 11 and 1 by 9 minutes that is 100 by 9 minutes. Therefore 100 by 9x that is the portion of the tank filled by the first pipe in 100 by 9 minutes plus 100 by 9 into x plus 5 the whole that is portion of the tank filled by the second pipe in 100 by 9 minutes is equal to 1. Now this implies taking 100 by 9 common it will be 100 by 9 into 1 by x plus 1 by x plus 5 the whole is equal to 1. 
Now this implies 100 by 9 into, on taking the LCM, it will be x, into x plus 5 the whole, and in the numerator, it will be x plus 5 plus x, the whole, is equal to 1. This further implies 2x plus 5, whole upon x squared plus 5x is equal to 9 by 100. Now on cross multiplying, this implies 200x plus 500 is equal to 9x squared plus 45x. Now this further implies 9x squared plus 45x minus 200x minus 500 is equal to 0. Which further implies 9x square minus 155x minus 500 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation in x. So by splitting the middle term it will be 9x square minus 180x plus 25x minus 500 is equal to 0. Now from these two terms taking 9x common this implies 9x into x minus 20 the whole. And from these two terms, taking 25 common, it will be plus 25 into x minus 20 the whole is equal to 0. Which further implies 9x plus 25 the whole into x minus 20 the whole is equal to 0. Now this implies either 9x plus 25 is equal to 0 or x minus 20 is equal to 0 which further implies 9x is equal to minus 25 or x is equal to 20 and this implies x is equal to minus 25 by 9 or x is equal to 20. Now here X minutes is the time taken by the first five to fill the tank. So else, time cannot be negative. Therefore, X is equal to 20, that is, X is equal to 20 minutes. Therefore, the first five can fill the tank in 20 minutes and here the second pipe can fill the tank in x plus 5 minutes so here the second pipe can fill the tank in x plus 5 minutes which is equal to 20 plus 5 which is equal to 25 minutes. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.